I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha ha. You're mad, Miss Wikiana. Miss Wig, Miss Wig, Miss Wikiana, Miss Wig. I have to say, there is a lot to unravel here today. Reunions are meant for hashing out the season, and I think while some friendships have healed and even grown, others have faltered. Now, I want to set an intention for us today that as a group, each of you can find a path towards forgiveness and moving forward. Our set today is a gallery of all you iconic women inspired by your icon photo shoot. Rabiana, Tapiana, Strapiana, Dykiana. Rabiana, Miss Dyke, 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 Dyke. Get the strap, get, get the strap. Get the strap, get, get the strap. Get the strap, get, get the strap. You still wanna get strapped down tonight, tonight, tonight. Get the strap, get, get the strap. Get the strap, get, get the strap. Get the strap, get, get the strap. You still wanna get strapped down tonight, tonight, tonight. I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha ha. You're mad, Miss Wikiana. Miss Wig, Miss Wig, Miss Wikiana. Miss Wig, Miss Wig, Miss Wig. You're mad, Miss Wig. Ha ha. Miss Wig, Miss Wig, Miss Wig. Why they hate this? You know, I have to say, I love this show. But as a fan, it was somewhat frustrating to watch this season. Like, I noticed the two of y'all, like, looking at each other, kind of make, like, smirking, like, making facial expressions surrounding the conversation about grace. You know for a fact the impact of calling somebody or somebody's family member a witch would Your mom submitted my name to a shrine. It, can, okay. Robin, Candace, let's not ignore the elephant in the room. I mean, there were some strong things said on the beach. It, and, and you guys closed it out rather, honestly, roughly. So my question is, is there any hope that you guys could get back to progression in your relationship? Um, hmm. What I've experienced, she thinks she did nothing wrong to me. And I feel like that when Candace is in the room, you're much quieter. I'm totally there's really fine. nothing to I'm face. totally fine. Oh, I mean, there's, For, there okay, is. Okay, here we go. She does not want to acknowledge me because she thinks that if she doesn't speak to me, then I will disappear. But my yeah, black ass is still sitting here. Because the show, you know, is about finding common ground. And it's about taking ownership of actions as they affect others. Are any of you willing to say now that you feel prepared to do that tonight? As I have watched the show, it's Giselle, Giselle. Giselle, Giselle's an imp. Giselle's the devil. Giselle is evil. I wanted to talk to you really quickly. Yes. Um, in light of Chris had DM'd Ashley and... 
Um, there was a situation in which Chris made me feel completely uncomfortable. What I heard was very disturbing. A comfort zone that does not exist for you where Chris is concerned. Correct. And Chris thinks that you're more comfortable than you are. Correct. You mentioned that you all went into your dressing room, you and, my, and Chris. Yeah. And you were uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. I'm in a hotel room with a married man, mm -hmm. and it is his word against mine as to what's happening in this room. Giselle has a, a history, and there's a reputation there of her being fast um, in her past, and her being um, loose in her past. This, this is these are facts. I'm not making this up. Um, so you know, I see her flirting with Chris, and it's like, oh, po pope, just pope. That's cute. It never. You said po thing or poke thing. Po. Oh. P o apostrophe. <laughs> po. Po thing. That's it's it's just you you can't you can't ask for for more from from someone who can only give you less than half. Like I I can't. It never bothered me. So he may be attracted. She's a beautiful woman. I'm attracted to Giselle. She's a beautiful woman. Like, I'm attracted she's, she's to Giselle. A beautiful woman. Giselle's gorgeous. Okay. Yes, I agree. L listen, she's beautiful, but a shell is a shell, okay? And shells often have funky insides, and that's one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, I never felt like... Candace is a fun girl. Like, you can go out with her, you can have fun, you can kiki... But then, like, to have, like, a real hardcore relationship with her and uh, and want, and for her to, for you to expect that she's going to be an adult, like, have adult conversations, I've just never gotten that from her. Mm. Looking back on the dance studio moment, do you wish you approached that whole Chris situation differently, knowing that it would eventually result in the kind of, like, demise of your friendship? <laughs> I approached that situation. I thought about that. I, I approached it. Very, I, I chose all my words carefully. I didn't add any like extra drama and hot sauce and tea to it, which I know how to do very well. And I didn't do that because we were friends. Now we're no longer friends. So I can really get to the, get to the tea and the nitty gritty of it all. And I, you know, and that's what the reunion is for. Okay. No one talks about relationships except for the fact that Giselle constantly attacks our husbands. So when you attack our husband, we return serve by saying, how can you attack us when we have no one in your life to even attack? Why would you bring a lie on this platform if you know it's a lie? Because why you're breathing you life into it by why bringing it up on the show. It? So that's why she is Giselle Lax Bryant, because <laughs> you can't attack somebody if you lack that thing that you're attacking in that other person. Her you point was specifically yeah. that you're putting something out there about her husband that's not true. It is no week different after week after than her week. It's going on her podcast mm. and talking about me. We talked about Candace and her husband one time because he was on many. the blog. Husband sending yeah. pictures of their private Pieces. part. Yes. Why do they entertain these thirsty women? Some of these guys are miserable. And joking and adding sauce to a lie to a rumor. She said so a lot of So the screenshots things. are sh photoshopped? Candace, there are some rumors going on with your husband. Hi Can there. you please set the record straight for us? Because the fans need to know. Well, do the fans need to know? Do the fans need to ask Giselle why she's in people's business instead of asking herself why we don't know anything about her? I think we need to do that. Yeah. But I, I think the fans have put to rest the lies. And I will say this. The truth is always more interesting than fiction. We talked, though, to Candace. Okay. We talked about those cheating rumors that are swirling about her husband, and she put all the blame on Giselle. What do you think? You know, that's going to call, that's called season eight. No, that's called season nine. We just did eight. Typically, it's me. You know, I've had blue eyes for years. Um, so I'm, I'm rooting for Candace and Chris, um, you know, and the story will come out and I'll follow their truth. But I'm supporting Candace and Chris. Susie so needs to stop. Chris, we didn't see you a lot this season. Was that by design? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. You don't want to be in the mess. If I'm not wanted around, I don't need to be around. It's okay. Well, are you not wanted around by Candace? Oh, no, no. Oh, I, no, I want isn't. him around. Oh, okay. But when you have a group of women who do everything in their power to push him out with okay. lies, then why would he be comfortable coming around, is what he's saying. Okay. Chris, are you still of the mind that Robin was in on a plot against you last year and was 
fake supportive just to cover up her own thing? Honestly, after last year's reunion, I'm tired of talking about it. I haven't mentioned it since that reunion. Okay. I'm sorry, the three subsequent interviews that aired after the reunion. I haven't talked about it. I haven't tweeted about anything. I just really don't give a I'm good. I'm really good. Um, Juliana from Virginia Beach said, Chris, this year a woman came out online and claimed she had an affair with you and even had an abortion for you. Then a few weeks later said she made the whole thing up. What happened there? What was that? It, w had you ever met the person? No, I've never met this person. So the screenshots. And so it seemed, you know, when you look at it, right, the messages and everything, it looks like it could be real. But I'm going to be honest with you. After I spoke with her and she sent me the alleged tape or screenshot from a tape that her and Chris got, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And you know what? The more I think about it, she sounds as if she's been talking to these two. Play that video, that audio one more time. Where is that, Jamie? You know, I know people are probably going to try to say, "Oh, we need more proof." You mean we we need more proof? I've seen a, I've seen enough yeah. to kind of know that some something was done that wasn't supposed to happen. Right. Some something was done that wasn't supposed to happen. Right. Be careful how you respond or react to other people's drama. Yep. Because your ass might be caught up in some similar oh. shit. Now. I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to state for the record that I do not think that Chris Bassett slept with that woman at all. I don't think he touched her. I don't think he knows her. I think she is just a regular fan of the show, and I can't prove it. But I think them two lonely assholes that we just listened to set them up. Because, you know, it, I'm telling you, there is a war going on. And, like, then, and then they sit together to talk for free about yes. lies about you and your husband where the woman came out to say, yes. I lied for attention, which like yes. you both, you and Chris were kind of just said like that from the start, let's not feel like yes. this I'm is a not, lie. I'm not and eating it. Yeah. They wasted no time having yeah. their, their yes. three court oh, meal. Just, just eating it up, sopping it up with a biscuit, which was also hurtful from coming from Robin that she seemed to really take pleasure in these rumors when we were all just gasping at the Canadian woman who, you know, talking about what it's just, it just, it feels like the twilight zone because to me it's black and white. And for her, I don't, I don't know what's going on in her mind. Never well, met right, this person. Okay. You didn't meet her, but you, but I don't you know still anything send about screenshots. screenshots. She said she said it that it happened, then she said she lied about it. So she said a lie. It then is what she, it is. But then she then she said she didn't lie about it. She retracted the lie. So but, again, I did, I didn't, I did, I didn't. I have nothing to say on okay. the credibility. Rita from Jacksonville said, Candace, did you pay that woman off so she'd say she made the whole thing up? <laughs> Her quick retraction was very serious. Was it quick? I don't no. I don't remember. Oh, was like it the, not quick? I don't remember the timeline. But okay. At, no, the answer is no. I did not. You had expressed anyone. you had expressed that these ladies were behind this rumor. I don't know that to be true, but I am so distrusting at this point of particularly Giselle that I don't put anything past her. So that is not true. And the girl even came out and said, please keep Giselle out of it. I don't know her. She said a lot of things. I don't have never talked to her. I've never seen her. She has nothing to do with this. Chris and I had an inappropriate relationship and that's it. She said, do not put Giselle in it. Like, so she's but no much like you feel how you feel. She feels how she feels. People can feel how they want to feel. And that's it's not okay. A feel. That's what she said. I don't know this woman. Candace said she feels that way. Much like you said you feel a way about what happened two years ago. People feel how they feel. So you want to be Very acknowledged good. for your feelings. Let her be acknowledged for her feelings. Great. Fantastic. Next question on Twitter said, so according to the fans, and I guess Candace via her fans, she's mad Robin didn't share something personal that happened to her and Juan on the show. Yet she was the one who said back in season three 
that her and Chris have the right to choose what they share on the show. Well, I'm not going to be answering any questions from her friend. He's a blogger. You shared proprietary information Propri with him. Really? About me. So he was a mutual supporter of Candace and I, and he was really hurt to see our friendship go to pits. So he'd been in communication with Chris Bassett, who told him, you know, Candace had, that I left her on red, pretty okay. much. And I was like, okay, this is what he's talking about. It was just to explain why Candace claims she went to the to Twitter instead of just talking to me. This was the, the moment where she ambushed you and said that Juan yelled at you. Okay. And you put the video of Juan and Giselle talking in this group chat with two bloggers that I know of. Oh. And you said, I'm thinking about posting this on Sunday. Does this look like someone who is mad and upset? That really pissed me off. So you're pissed at your best friend, mm -hmm. and you're talking about it in a group chat oh, to bloggers. God. Okay. Well, Giselle, are you mad? Well, no. Oh. Okay. Not at all. We are in the here and now. Yep. <laughs> what do you need from Robin to move forward? And I want to ask you the same question. Hmm. Hmm. I... Uh, I don't have any tissue. I do. Oh, <laughs> not tears. I'm working on a line of triangles so that you can have them pre-folded and just pull them out. Stop it. And cry. So okay. the point is, yeah, you just want to have a sharp point. So that is a triangle. So you stick you, this yeah. part right here, you stick it right in your eye. But hang on. Me. Okay, so I've got this. Yep. And then, and then I'm going to yep. do this. Yep, exactly. Oh yep. my gosh, we need to make this a, a, a package work. deal. Let's do it. Yes. I'm going to do a Sutton Soother to go with your triangle. Yes. We're going to be this millionaires. Excuse me. I, I have to fold a triangle. My nose is running. Just give me uh, oh, okay. This Wait, is we get to watch a triangle okay. happen. This is a... Yeah, I'm sorry. It's it is not just for the duct. It is also for the nose. Just excuse Oh, me. look at that. Wow. Right okay. in. It's good for any small orifice. Okay. Oh, okay. Good to know. Tears. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Tears, 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 okay, tears, come on. tears. Them fake tears be coming. Okay. You don't need to be a girl. Stop. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I, okay. I just want to hear from her, and then I want to hear from you. I'm trying to. Okay. Tears. Girl, that was kind of mean. It was kind of mean, girl. She's a good look. Stop, stop. Okay. okay. I would like, all I need from my friends is acknowledgement. I just needed her to acknowledge that there was a difference. Because it hurt not just me, it hurt Chris. Because Chris also considered Robin a friend. After the re no. When did we wrap filming? We wrapped in July. I went on tour in October. Yeah. yeah. She was the only one who came to your show. No, I didn't. I didn't like officially invite anyone because Correct. you see that I'm going on tour. You see where I'm going to be. If you're a friend of mine, come. And a lot of my like real home, like my home girls, my best friends from home, and I'm in Atlanta right now. But my best friends from home, where I grew up in Georgia, they showed. I didn't invite them. They showed up. My favorite honors English professor from high school showed up. Like my people showed up, and I didn't invite anyone. I didn't invite Robin, but she showed up, and I was pleasantly surprised to see her. I was happy to see her, but I was also surprised to see her. And she was like, why are you surprised? And I'm like, I don't know. I just don't understand. I, I'm shocked that you would come, but I'm happy that you're here. And now it's like, after all of this bullshit with her literally backpedaling and pussy popping her way to her friend, why would you come to my show? Why would you leave your house? Robin does not leave her house for anybody. Robin lives in West Bumblefuck. She left West Bumblefuck and came to Northeast Washington, D.C. to come to my show. Why? Yeah, the thing about it just makes you question every Every motive. Everything. Every motive and, and what is, is now up, up for questioning. Everything. Like when you, put your, when you put your whole life out there and you're trying to be open and real and authentic. And, and again, this wasn't on camera. Nope. So it seems genuine and real. But then you hear things afterwards and it's like, what the fuck do you, you believe were setting, in? And you were you setting believe... yourself up? Were you just doing some, some back leg work so that you could save yourself later? That's where my head is. And how and, awful. And, and it sucks. How awful. It sucks to think yes. that way because we want to believe everybody for what they do and what they give us to your face. And, and 
it just it's it's hard and it really sucks that you have to question someone's motive, someone who you think is your friend and you want to be your friend because you think you've had this relationship, this relationship that you've been building right, for years over the last several years. And now you have to question it because of a few comments and some stuff that didn't air that probably should have. I mean, it was just extremely hurtful to not only be on the receiving end of being accused of being a colors, which I think is horrible, but still, when the stuff about Juan came out, all of y'all talked about it, but nobody accused me of plotting, of, you know, lying, a cover up, like none of that. That is the stuff that really, really, really hurt me as a friend. I want to go back to the colorism conversation. I grew up in a household where talking about race and color and the diaspora was like commonplace. So for me, talking about any aspect of race is not uncomfortable for me. I mistakenly thought that you all thought that way as well. It, it was it was my I, mistake. I don't to have any think. problems talking about colorism. Like, I don't course. know how this show became the poster show for race relations in America. Because you're talking However, about it all the time. The question after all of that was if you do commit a crime, you're not biracial, Katie committed a crime. You're a black girl, Katie committed a crime. Obviously. When and, I have committed a crime, on, I was African American for that crime. Anderson Cooper's <laughs> going to say that's. That's who you are. So right. that was what we were talking about that day. And on my license, it says African American. So you had to pick a box on your yes, license. I didn't have to pick a, a box. They, they, they choose it for you. So that's how you're identified. Right. I, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm black as far as I look. Right. I don't have to pick a box for my children. They don't look black right now. If they look black later and they want to identify as black for their license, then that's how they're going to identify. Now, you maybe could get away with being Caucasian. I could, but I don't. Okay, because so I'm proud to say I'm black. Mm -hmm. We're, uh, okay. All right. I want to ask Ashley your opinion. You're, you're biracial. What was your reaction to all this? I was just really surprised because the two women who have the most European features seem to make the biggest deal of race. When most of us embrace our naturalness, for some reason, they don't. What? Coloring your hair blonde and straightening oh, God, is European. Break. That is a very oh, European thing. Red. My hair has been black. Girl, like, come on, Ashley, come harder, please. Yes. I don't have to come harder for anything. You're both sitting here with blonde hair. And if this was a black and white conversation, mm -hmm. it's almost equivalent to someone saying, man, I'm so hurt that you called me a racist. But when is the conversation ever going to shift to say, it's not. why did you think or believe that it's to be not. true for me to be a racist. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because if you're not gonna talk about why they believe this phenomenon exists, then let's not talk about the phenomenon itself. At all. Guys, there are, there's no better group of black women on the Bravo Network to talk about that than us. No, actually, that's very incorrect. My father had death threats every day. What they didn't show was that when we were at the baby naming ceremony for Katie, she made reference to the black side like it was demeaning. Like, oh no, I would never be considered liar, black. Giselle. If you're half black, one fourth black, two percent black, be proud of that. Are you not proud so, of it? I have no idea what she's talking about. And once again, it's like, why would you come to someone's house for a religious naming ceremony, you know, and then go outside and go in on them and challenge we, we, them about... We didn't go in. Your... We didn't go. We just okay. asked a simple question. And then for Robin to bring up, okay, well, when your girls are older, what box are they going to check? What the why hell are you that talking offensive? about? Okay, Katie, why you know? you even no, no, bring no, no. that up? Katie, you so know I, that you said something I, wrong. I, That's why you sported I, I, the Jackson 5 Afro. Because if you want to talk about colorism, then you need to have the range to talk about oh, it. Well, and a lot of people on this couch, whether you want to or not, do not have the Range, you know, and, and, that will stop and that's it there. okay. What was the reason why you guys are colorists? I don't know. If we want to start with the reason, let's start with the reason. So let, let's find any, out why so you guys are colorists. Anytime we have a conflict with a brown skin person, we're a colorist. But we, we forget I that Karen and I be, Ashley and I be for three years. And like, okay. it's I don't, not, it's I want not to, fair Robin, to Robin, I want to wrap up this conversation. I understand that you were upset by my choice of words in referring to you. Sit up here with your privileged, white-looking ass, and you think you can say whatever the f you want to say, and no one is going okay, to bat an eyelash. Candace, I am a true Potomac fan. Potomac, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank but, you. But um, on the reunion, <laughs> I feel like you say those type of things on a regular, because remember on the reunion when you snapped off on Giselle and told her that she was... um. A white, you know, a white-looking woman. Yes. 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 Like, 
No, that's not cool because if Giselle would have said those same things in reverse, Giselle probably would have been kicked off the show. No, she wouldn't have. But I, I, under- but I feel like you say those things a lot. You give me the, and don't be mad, but you give me the, I'm not- you want to be light-skinned and present. I feel Ooh. like you want to be light-skinned. Well, I, I appreciate your opinion. I'm okay. very happy in my brown skin. My no, don't don't hang up. My what what I said. You have to understand where it started. The conversation started because we were talking about white privilege and proximity to whiteness. And my only hope in having that conversation on that couch was to have the women who benefit from being fair skinned to acknowledge their privilege. Some of the women were okay with and able to acknowledge their privilege and some acted as if they were being attacked for having this conversation. I should not have used those words to describe you. She did accuse him of sexual no, assault. No, I did not. Multiple times. No, I did not. Uh, mincing words. No, I did not. Using wordplay saying, quote, he made no, me I go into not. a hotel room. And it goes on and on. Yes. Um, in light of Chris had DM'd Ashley and... Um, there was a situation in which Chris made me feel completely uncomfortable. What I heard was very disturbing. A comfort zone that does not exist for you where Chris is concerned. Correct. And Chris thinks that you're more comfortable than you are. Correct. You mentioned that you all went into your dressing room, you and, my, and Chris. Yeah. And you were uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. I'm in a hotel room with a married man, mm-hmm. and it is his word against mine as to what's happening in this room. Giselle has a, a history, and there's a reputation there of her being fast um, in her past, and her being um, loose in her past. This, this is these are facts. I'm not making this up. Um, so you know, I see her flirting with Chris, and it's like, oh. Po po thing. Just po thing. That's cute. It never You said po thing or poke thing. Po. P O apostrophe. (laughs) Po. Po thing. That's it's it's just you you can't you can't ask for for more from from someone who can only give you less than half. Like I I can't it never bothered me. So he may be attracted. She's a beautiful woman. I'm attracted to Giselle. She's a beautiful woman. Like, I'm attracted she, she to Giselle. Giselle's woman. gorgeous. Okay. Yes, I agree. L- listen, she's beautiful, but a shell is a shell, okay? And shells often have funky insides, and that's one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, I never felt like, Candace is a fun girl. Like, you can go out with her, you can have fun, you can kiki, but then, like, to have, like, a real hardcore relationship with her and uh, and want, and for her to, for you to expect that she's going to be an adult, like, have adult conversations, I've just never gotten that from her. Mm. Looking back on the dance studio moment, do you wish you approached that whole Chris situation differently, knowing that it would eventually result in the kind of, like, demise of your friendship? <laughs> I approached that situation. I thought about that. I I approached it. I I chose all my words carefully. I didn't add any like extra drama and hot sauce and tea to it, which I know how to do very well. And I didn't do that because we were friends. Now we're no longer friends. So I can real get to the, get to the tea and the nitty gritty of it all. And I, you know, and that's what the reunion is for. Okay. I I wouldn't consider the situation sexual assault, Candace. Accusing? He didn't. He didn't physically touch her. He didn't say anything for her. To go into a hotel room. To go into a hotel room, which was the the latest iteration of what she is saying. Never said he forced me. to defend this is insane. I mean, have the last say in this, and can we wrap this up? Because we need to be respectful of those survivors and those victors. Right. I will say that words do matter. I will say that it's left up to interpretation to end the story. And I think if you could both look at that. And me. Candace. I didn't say Lord. The words actually I didn't say are not forced. sexual assault. I didn't say any of that. But he, we, that what you made said me is on uncomfortable. I'm not apologizing for things I've never said. Please. Am I crazy? Thirdly. I have not lied about a thing. You right. you have lied. No, Thirdly. I have you're, not. You're a big ass liar. I have is not what you lied. Are. So Juan is not here today. Husbands, knowing what you all know about this season and how Robin has kind of had to fight battles 
on his behalf, what do you think of him not showing up today? Oh. Oh. Any husbands have Nobody an opinion about speak. that? <laughs> they don't care. No. <laughs> not really. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Well, I mean, just wants. because you all have been the subject of gossip or drama, and you all come to every reunion for as long as you've been on the show, why is it important for you to come and support your wives? I guess that's a bigger oh. question. I just want to be here. Yeah, and I don't want to throw Juan under the bus, so I don't want this comment taken as me criticizing someone else. Okay. But I was coming to support my wife. Okay. Now ex-wife, but I was coming to support her. If she I wanted to be here, still, I'm coming. I think y'all still married. Y'all still married. Oh, who believes Juan's story? <laughs> no, but Andy, I don't think no. it's for us. None no. of us believe but it. Robin but Robin believes it. No, that's all that matters. That's that's that, matters. that was foolish, but, but... We chose to move forward. We chose to get married. I wasn't expecting, like, the firestorm that came out of it. This, this really feels like this is a Protect Juan campaign. It's not. Listen, the woman in Canada, the story is crazy, right? Yes. He would not make up a crazy story. He would actually make up a better story. Juan was still communicating with her. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. He, he should not have been communicating with her. That's okay. the problem. So you're making him accountable for that? It, we dealt with it. Right? Right. I found out. I was angry. I told him, get the f out. We worked through it. Although Juan was not smart in communicating with the female in Canada, he's not dumb enough to be anywhere in public being affectionate and physical with another woman. How do you feel about the other wives, you know, throwing some shade your way heading into this season? I, I mean, really nothing that they say is, in, is of importance to me. Um, I don't really, I, wh how am I being held accountable? Did I do something to them? Did I do something, did I commit a crime? Like, I'm just trying to, like, yes. what needs to be, what needs to be happen here? You know what I mean? What, I don't, I don't really understand. And so I, I think they're expecting something else. They're, they're expecting me to dance around and hide, you know, oh, I'm not talking about it. Oh, and, and that's the total opposite. Like, I'm in, in the season, I'm like, okay, it's in the, it's, you know, we're talking about it. It's in the news. It's in social media. We'll talk about it. I'm not hiding from anything. Um, but just because I chose not to share something about my life that wasn't relevant at the time when we were filming season seven, that doesn't mean you're supposed to walk in front of a camera and then all of a sudden make up a storyline right. with my husband and say, hey, you remember when you did that to me? I'm really upset about it, even though we resolved it. Like, I can't, I can't live my relationship like that. I'm not doing that to my husband, to my best friend of over since 1996. I'm not doing that to him. You know what I mean? And it's her job okay. and her friends to support, to support her. her. Okay. Can I ask one little thing? Sure. It, when he said, like, Bree's like a beautiful woman, th did that bother you at all? No, because the point was, if he had been at the laundromat with someone who was not beautiful, it wouldn't have been an issue. I got it. Do you feel like he was supportive of you throughout filming? Yes, he showed up, he answered questions. He's not showing up tonight. That's oh, fine. He yeah. does not have a basketball game. No, oh. he doesn't. He declined to be here. Okay. Oh, Andy. That was shady. Well, so that, Andy. Doesn't, that doesn't well, mean that <laughs> he doesn't support me. Why is he not here, Robin? He doesn't know that you're going to be under fire not, tonight no. because of his actions. The no, least he not, can do as your husband no. is to stand behind you and say, baby, you don't have to take all the bullets. I can take some, too. Tell me, where are you living now? So I do have a penthouse apartment in Washington, D.C. Even though it's the smallest space okay. I've been in, in the past several years, I'm in the happiest okay. place, Good. you That's know? Good. Where's Gordon living now? So Gordon has an apartment in Charlotte, but he is relocating right across the street in his own condo. Okay, let's talk about Mr. Inc. You tell me how it looks, okay. a married woman he going to live with a single man I wasn't in a five bedroom house. Bullshit. The kids I, he told wasn't me. even there half the time. I, he worked oh, in 17 different cities. They even told me you were sleeping with him when you said you weren't. Jeremiah no, said, Gordon, I saw mommy sleeping with Gordon. Mr. Inc. Could you mind telling us a little bit about <laughs> and your history? Okay, first he doesn't want to be called <laughs> <laughs> We can start there. His name is Inc. How long were you guys in a relationship? I met Mia, uh, I knew Mia about, about what it was. Probably about three and a half, three and a half years. And then did y'all break up because the relationship got to be long distance? Yeah, that would, that would pretty much be it. Because for me, like I said, I wanted to further my career. And just for her, it didn't make sense for her to go backwards. So uh, we stayed in contact. And then, you know, she ended up getting married the first time. And then um, she ended up getting married again. 
Did you guys keep in touch while she had her first marriage? No. We always been very respectful. Mm -hmm. Like, we always just kept in touch, like, friendship. And then, you know, when social media came around, you follow each other on social media. What we had back then, like, uh, when Twitter first came out, mm -hmm. you know, maybe Twitter, uh, what you had, Facebook. What's another? I'm trying to think of another one. MySpace. I can't. I don't think Mia ever had a MySpace, bro. And if she did, I hope I was in the top eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so take me back to you guys were in this relationship. Y'all moved to Charlotte together. Yes. Then you guys broke up. Yes. She got married. Yes. Um. Then remarried, and she now is married still to Gordon. Yes. Right. True. Have you met Gordon? Yes. We've actually uh, hung out a few times. Y'all hung y'all hung out a few times while she and Gordon were married in a happy place. No, this is post separation. Like since they've been separated, mm -hmm. I've met him and had conversations with him, and we talked. I had a prostate cancer. My things, organs weren't working like they used to. On my seventieth birthday, I said, "You know, if you find someone that you think you want to start spending time with, I want you to know I'm okay with it." And then during this whole time. Were you in touch with Mr. Inc? So we have kept in touch here and there, but nothing serious. There was only one occasion that we did like rekindle the flame. So you were with G then? I was. Yes. Mia, can I say something yes. about that? And I'm just telling you this full disclosure because I don't know who Gordon is talking to and what Gordon is saying. But one of the things that Gordon did say was that Ink came to your house and was trying to take Jeremiah. How are you doing? I mean, I know, you know, I know that you and Gordon are going through a split, but how are you guys doing? I couldn't help but notice that you are wearing your ring now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yes, we are separated, okay. illegally separated, and you know, it's gonna take time to get a divorce, but you know, there is someone special that's on the horizon. There is someone special. Oh, so, so are you engaged? I am committed. <laughs> okay, so that is a commitment. For yes. I'm not available. Not available. Yeah, so okay. don't come in my DMs. All right. Okay. What's your reaction? I, you know, with this one, she, she never surprises me. She's amazing. She keeps my life exciting watching her life, and I mean, it's amazing. Is so. that why you moved no, I, I got to get closer to her. Yeah. You know? I'm trying to live yeah. vicariously she, We can walk her. to each other's homes. Yeah, okay. I love yeah. that. How, now, how does Gordon feel about this? Gordon's actually, you know, obviously at first he's not so happy because he decided to go public. But, you know, every day gets easier. Um, he's actually dating. So we are really focusing on being good co-parents for our children. You know, it's like the kids are what's really important at this point. Um, and we're good. We're going to be good. And I think that, you know, I think it's important to for people to see that we are going to be co-parents. Um, and I think it's going to be great. Ink thinks that Jeremiah is his son? Still? Why does Ink think Jeremiah is his son? Well, because we had an affair shortly after. An overlapping. After. Yeah, we, there was a little yeah. overlap okay. in there. Now, here's the thing. I did IUI, right? right? So, and I'm a woman. I know my body. Right. <laughs> this child is Gordon's child. Right. He looks <laughs> just like Gordon. Yeah. But then why but does Ink still Jeremiah, think it's his you know, kid? They Maybe he wants him to be his kid? Yes. yes. I don't know. Well, I think you children know? are off limits. Girls I don't can. care whose no, baby no, father no. is. But this baby is going to have to watch this. I know. I know. So well, I think if we could respectfully move, move on. We're moving on. We're moved on. Karen, is this new man the rapper you heard Mia was with? Yes. Okay. He's not a rapper. Okay. He's a rapper DJ. He's <laughs> right? He, he is a radio personality, 20 markets. Yes. Okay. Mia's in Potomac, and she's one of the stars of that show. And yes. if they're smart, they'll make her the face of it. But I digress. Hello, somebody. So Mia's on Potomac. Mm -hmm. You live in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. How is that going to work? It's going well uh, because I am on air in Baltimore, which isn't too far from Potomac. And my show is growing, so therefore I have some community work to be doing, and I'll be spending a lot of time in the area. If or when you guys get married, hmm. would you move to Maryland full time? You know what? That's a great question. Um, the way that I like to think about it, you can't box Mia in. I don't think she's going to be um, placed to just one area of the U.S. map. 
I see her as being like wherever she put her foot, the earth is her turf. So, but to answer your immediate question, if I had to do that to support, as long as it's conducive for our lifestyle, yeah, I do that because I support her a thousand percent and the feeling is mutual, but I just don't think she's going to be stuck in one place. Can I ask, watching that scene, Gordon seems extremely angry. Is he mad because he's no longer financially where he was and you decided to go with Inc, who was more financially stable? No. So Inc really has absolutely nothing to do with my separation with Gordon. Okay. It's just commingled because... Of the you know, timing. The timing. Okay. Yes. Does it have to do with no Gordon's finances? No, it doesn't. I think what happened is when she started making a lot of money in the show, felt like I had no access to capital. Do you say, okay, now's the time to leave? That Mia married me for my money and the, and the future that she thought I could provide. Yeah, I absolutely believe her leaving me now is tied to the fact that I don't have access to assets and my funds are limited at this point in time, that she now has access to funds. And this guy that she's seeing, she believes has access to funds. And I think she's leaving me for that reason. She's mentioned that they're going to be buying a house together and doing businesses together and other kinds of things together, which tells me that the interest is based on monetary gain from the relationship. So I absolutely believe that she's leaving me because she sees an upgrade. Did I have more money when I was coming into the relationship with Gordon? Yes, but mine was on inheritance. You had more so than Gordon? I more did. than inheritance? Yeah. So the same year that Gordon and I met, I actually lost three grandparents. Okay. So fortunately for me, I was able to get my hands on some cash. But at the same time, in a year after we married, um, I realized that he was really functioning bankrupt. Candace and Wendy, your husbands have hung out with G a lot. Did G ever drop hints to Chris or Eddie that the marriage was in trouble? Ooh. You go ahead. When I went through this, everybody on the sofa reached out to me except for Candace and Wendy. And I thought to myself, I didn't reach out. I will own that. Yeah. Holy yeah. Sh these girls are not my friends. Why didn't you reach out? I will say this, you know, uh, Mia in full transparency. When Gordon reached out to our husband in a group chat, he was there to annihilate you. Yes, I don't know. If, so I, I like was losing my mind because Gordon called Chris and Eddie to tell them all Mia's business oh. before he went to TMZ. Oh, oh, and was like, tell your wives to call me so I could give them tea on Mia, and oh. like she's been all the stuff that's come out. He told. My, our husbands wow. first. It was oh. insane. He called you everything but a child of God. It was horrible. It was vicious. So why, and Wendy, let, let me finish. Let me, let, check let me hey, finish. Is you good? But let me finish. Let me land. Where yeah. we left off last year, you had physically assaulted me. At that moment, I could have said, this is my lick bath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had no. all this they information in ammo. Yeah. So while I did not yeah, call you, oh. please understand that the woman I am, I never once said anything till today yes. about what he has said about you. Yes. Okay, well, I will that. shows that. you mm. that even though we may not be best friends, there's a certain level of love and respect and respect oh. that I do have for you. Yes. I want to say this to you. I felt really uncomfortable mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. I was really concerned for you. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to be involved. I mean, reaching out and saying you're concerned isn't getting involved, but, you know, it's just, will, you know, being yeah. a friend. And right? I'm not saying I, that I expect I the same treatment, out? but yes. I would reach out to you if yes. it was a reverse role. You, you know, even myself. Karen called, right, and Karen and I are the outs. I've been coming for her all year. She really? called me several times. Like, this is a sisterhood, right? Well, we want to preach that always, yes, right? We I, love I each like, other yes. no matter what. I don't care what y'all say. I know we're not that heartless, we're okay? Not. Husband sending yeah. pictures of their private parts. Yes. Why do they entertain these thirsty women? Some of these guys are miserable. So a lot the of screenshots things. are sh photoshopped. Robbie, Anna, I really want you to win, but you just be hush up. Bitch, shut up. Bitch, shut up. Why, okay, again, like I said earlier, maybe you want your lick back because everybody was jumping on you about Juan, but you weren't honest about the situation. This is not a real incident. The girl who was making these claims came out and said it was a lie. And like I said, again, she said that you even put her up to it, you and Giselle. So I'm confused on 
now where we are here and you bringing this up because I feel like it came out at this point that it was a lie. Actually, even Andy said it. Chris, this year a woman came out online and claimed she had an affair with you and even had an abortion for you. Then a few weeks later said she made the whole thing up. So why are you even repeating a lie at this reunion? Focus on why your man is not at the reunion. What the fuck is up with that? Where is he? He couldn't come? Huh? Are you serious? Rabiana. Oh. Why does Ink think Jeremiah is his son? Well, because we had an affair shortly an overlapping. after. Overlapping. Yeah, we, there was a little yeah. overlapping okay. there. Now, here's the thing. I did IUI, oh. right? right? So, and I'm a woman. I know my body. Right. <laughs> this child is Gordon's child. Right. He looks just <laughs> like Gordon. Yeah. But then why but does Ink still Jeremiah, think it's his you know, kid? They they Maybe he wants him to be his kid? Yes. I do. don't know. I think you children know? are off limits. Brown I don't skin. care oh. whose oh. baby oh. father oh. is. But this baby is going to have to watch this. I know, I know. Finally, somebody speaking with sense. Okay, Karen, you were letting me down with the DUI, allegedly, okay? I hope it's not true. My mother going down, okay? They gonna eat her up next season, and I hope she's getting the help that she truly needs in this bitch, if this is really true. But she better speak on it, because you guys, this is traumatic for a traumatic. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? Okay, I guess it's good for reality television for you hood rat ass bitches who like seeing traumatic type things, but this is not cute for in real life for a child to go through. Like what the fuck? In my opinion, okay, maybe y'all love it and are eating it up, but are y'all not thinking about the child? I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see future trauma in this bitch. He's already seeing his mommy lay in the bed with this man, Mr. Ink. So I was calling it acting before, but it can't be too much acting unless Gordon's lying. <sighs> very much tacky, very much traumatic, very much nasty, very much too much, okay? Bitch, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, shut up.